Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the 2021 NADGT Premier A tier from Cup 2 Cove in Guntersville, Alabama. We've got the final nine, nine holes of the MA1 lead card here. These guys are playing for a shot at a big prize, not only here, but also trying to get to Texas. Trying to get to Texas. So we had an interesting uh, front round. Uh, three of the players ended up one down. We have Nick who took off with a three down, trying to make a move. Um, trying to make sure he secures that spot in Texas. Yeah, a bit of a back and forth at the top there between Ryan and Aiden there. Aiden back on top. We're starting things off here at hole 10. Par three, 248 feet. The T-pad has actually shifted a little bit more to the left this year, making this more of a straight on shot, uh, but still very much uphill with a lot of low canopy towards the end of this uh, green here, which makes it a tricky shot coming in. Speed control is a must and angle control is a must. In this Oh, okay. That's going to flare a little bit left there, but he should still have a look. Now, we mentioned on the front half that the, the first nine holes, really first eight, you're kind of shielded from the wind, but once you get to this back half here, the wind is definitely going to come more into play on this course. Yeah. And again, it's right next to the lake, so if anyone knows about the lake effect wind, then, uh, yeah, this is going to happen on pretty much every hole in the back here. Then he says that all before it gets to OB. Uh, wow. Okay. Hey, Kyfer, show him how to do it. <laughs> if you haven't seen Kyfer before, you're going to see a lot of this. A lot of overhands. Ooh. Great control on them. Oh, he gets pinned yep. behind that triple tree there. Or quad tree, or sister trees, grouping, gathering. The, the tree pod. family. It's the tree family. Oh, wow. Great touch. Yeah. <laughs> That's like one of those shots when you just get up to it, like, I really don't care. <laughs> you just throw it in, it's perfect. perfect yeah. Ooh, Whoa, we gave it a run there. Aiden, all right. So an opportunity, oh, and you wow. can see what's, what's just happening. Happened. Yeah, the wind showed up. <laughs> the fifth player on the card. <laughs> Nick actually stood over that putt for a while and the thought about it. The Raz player. Yeah. He, uh, he changed his mind when that wind picked up. Kuiper! Oh, the oh, one too. Jeez. Oh, we were so close. Okay. Par here is fine. This is, like I said, this is a tricky hole. It just it requires so much touch uh, to, to secure the two on this. Yeah. I was. Speed, elevation, angle control. You can come into the green. Just like uh, I forgot who shot it was, but he came in hot. And he, yeah, know. Nick came in early. Or he came right at it, but just flared left. Yeah. So no movement on the scoreboard there. But we're going to hole 11. It's a par 3, 227. I think this hole should be named after us. I really think it should just be the ace run hole. <laughs> hey, I mean, we should sponsor next there's year. There's nothing stopping you from running at this. Yeah. Uh, the water that you see to the left doesn't even come into play. You don't even know it's there. And it has this great backstop so that you can just, just run it. Ooh, oh, wow. wow. There you go. That's how you yeah. do it. Couple of big deep breaths there for Aiden. Oh, oh that dropped. That dropped. <laughs> Jeez. He's still well inside the yeah, circle. Yeah, he still should be able to get a clean birdie from there. You can Man. see that wind, it's, or, and it's or like hear it and see it in the trees. Yeah, and it's just it changed from player to player. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, now it's calm again. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, for lining up the thumber here. Come on back. That'll do. Settle. Yeah, CTP. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Getting some love there. And it's it's a low canopy too coming out of there, so it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I was to... he, he clipped something, but it didn't change his flight that much. Yeah. I'm suspecting we'll see a star frame here yeah, from these yeah. four. Yeah, if you're not getting if you're on a lead car and you're not getting this when you're you're upset. Yeah. Oh, 
Three for three. Kaifer the closest. Don't ruin it, Kaifer. <laughs> Don't be that guy. There you, All go. Right, there you go. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> nice showing from the lead card there on hole 11. See, Aiden's still holding on to that one stick lead. All right, hole 12 has changed this year. They've built a beautiful deck here on the top left-hand side. It's a par three coming in at 265 feet downhill. The road, the gravel road itself, both straight and to the right, and this rock area is all out of bounds. Uh, so basically, you gotta find some patch of grass to land on here. And coming downhill with the elevation change, it's not easy to stick this green. With the wind. So it looks calm for him right there, at least. Yeah, and it's just, it's got to come so much over to the left. You got to trust it. And that yeah. sticks and settles. He's fine there. Did he say pure? No, nah, that no. was a, a driver there. Okay. Most of these guys don't like firebirds or something like that. It's just because the wind and the amount of left hand movement you need. Yeah. 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 I heard somebody say. That's oh. off the rock. Oh, man. man. That was. Oh, what a terrible roll. That was so right? good. Like it was going to be by the basket, yeah. not in it, but that rock just... Yeah, that was out of bounds. This may be a little too high. Oh, there's oh. a drop. <laughs> wow. Oh, oh and no. Wow. That Can looks... Roll, roll. Oh, man. That is out of bounds as well. Oh, like two just... leaders are out of bounds. And landing on the rocks, you just, you never know. You, you don't know what the rock is going to do. It could skip you. It could... Kiefer. Yeah, Look at this flare. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh it's three out wow. of four out of bounds. That was a chameleon wow. fell in there. So that is crazy stable. Settle. Okay. You don't want to take a double OB here. Nick, the only one that stayed in bounds has a look for two. Fluffs it a bit, but he stays in, in bounds. Okay, if we're looking for the par save. That's a couple of putts you know he wants back. Yeah, definitely. Aiden can pick up another stroke here. And he will. Good par save. So Ryan's going to drop back to 20 under. And that's going to give a two-stroke lead to Aiden. As we come down the stretch here. And Ryan has to be careful because Nick's right there behind him. He He's is. too back. Things are heating up. Yeah, like we said, Nick, Nick is putting together a nice round here. He's kind of storming his way up that leaderboard. Hole 13, this is such a tricky hole to play, especially in the wind. It's all downhill. You got OB on the right, you got hazards on the left, and you just really don't know what to throw. Uh, for me, when I threw this, I actually threw a mid-range to get down there just because we'd rather play it safe than go too far. Yeah, it's definitely tricky. You'll see anything from putters. I remember last year, some of the guys were throwing putters at it. Yeah, and just letting it glide down, depending on what the wind is doing. Yeah, Nick is throwing a uh, fairway here at it. And that's the problem with going with a, a driver. Yeah, I Luckily, got to... he didn't go that far in. There was one kid last year. I don't think we, I don't, I think he's still in there. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, and this is the more the play you kind of expect when you're going with a faster disc. Oh, to go out, just go out outside. wider yeah, and yeah. give it time then, to finish. If, if it was me playing on this day, and going that wide route and seeing the the drop the wind and the drop, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that wow. Was nice. Very nice. That was nice. I mean, I, I played it the day before, uh, and it was not quite as windy. I was able to throw a Centurion at it, and it just left well, me right inside the circle. Uh -oh. This needs to settle. Oh, he's okay. fine. Yeah, he's fine. 
Jimenez over there. Oh yeah, he's parked. That will do. So Nick with a long look here. Yeah, just waiting that one up. And you can just see just such a beautiful backdrop here that we have. Oh, so close. Ryan here to pick up a stroke. See so if we can do it. He here does. Alright, back to a one stroke game here. Getting some love from Kiefer. I've played on a couple of cards with Kiefer before. Oh, oh man. <laughs> he said that literally just fell out of his hand. That's out of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> But he's always so upbeat. Like he, like even if he's not having a good round, he's he's got great energy. He's he celebrates, you know, good shots from his teammates. Just an all-around great dude to be around. When he's not trying to kill you on, on his one wheel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
It's got an open window here to get through, though. Yeah, this is definitely just going to be an upshot. And this upshot is a little nerve-wracking. Oh, Ooh, wow. Because you, yep. you still need to get by the bushes. <laughs> yeah. So he can see most of the basket. Yeah. Get it up high. Oh. oh, that was it, too. Yeah. See the wind rippling through Aiden's shirt. Gets the bird. With Ryan Parts here, he definitely needed that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. I knew it was gonna do it. He switched I to a, uh, I think it was a pig that he put it with there because he felt the wind just changing. Yeah. So he switched to that versus his regular putter. <laughs> so a couple pars, a couple birdies. That's one that's, um, if you get it, you're like, heck yeah, that's, that's a good one to get. Yeah. All right, Aiden and Ryan now four down. So on each other's heels. Hole 16, another one of these par fours coming in at 568 feet. You want to get out of this initial gap and start working your way to the right. Forehand is an ideal play. Uh, turnover control backhand also. You then want to make the turn heading towards this basket. That rock patch there that you see is out of bounds this year. And the basket is actually placed right next to that rock patch this year. So they put it into oh, an okay. alternate position. Ryan going with the backhand, and there's so much wind out there that needs to settle. Ooh. Oh, oh, no. no. Don't do That's, it. Don't do it. Not, curl? Don't curl. do it. Curl? Come back. Oh, oh my man. gosh. That's just a roller coaster. It, it went further on the ground than it did in the air. It, it really did. did. That headwind just turned, turned it over. It, yeah. Aiden going safer with just yeah. a nice forehand getting it out. That one got lifted and pushed down. Yeah, but that's fine. He's yeah. right in the middle. Yeah. Going with the back hand. Ooh. Ooh, that's tight. Get yeah, through. that's real yeah. tight. Got through. Is it gonna come out? Is it gonna come out? It's still turning. Oh, oh that's okay. pretty ideal. Right. Yeah. He's gonna be on flat ground too, which is. He's gonna be on flat ground and actually be able to see the basket. Yeah. Careful okay, going with the overhand. And he is right by one of those disc-shaped cutouts there that Frank did. I was right where he is, so he's he's setting up and he breaks out the range finder and I'm like, you're 278 feet. He's like, what? <laughs> and uh, he ra he used the range finder, it was 274. I was like, dude, I know exactly where. <laughs> and that is beautiful work oh, yeah. there. Woo! Crowd loves it. Ryan here from that OB stroke and he's he pulled says, oh, it. No. Come on and finish. That is in that OB hazard. Oh. That is marked off with white line. That is OB. So he's gone double OB on this hole. Aiden going out wide with the forehand. Oh, oh. He was, I think he was concerned about going OB, but he uh, yeah. he parked it. You always get a little uh, start to question your 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 shots and judgment and strength a little bit when it's windy because the. Because you can't tell if the wind is going to slow it down, pick it up, push it. I mean, you have an idea of what it's supposed to do, but it yeah. doesn't always do what it's supposed to do. I floater. Oh, mm. both of them thought that was in. Yeah. <laughs> look with the birdie look here. Capitalizes. Yes. Sneaky, sneaky. You play that about as well as you could there. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That, that, that drive was a little scary for me. <laughs> Really, really close. Yeah. Good birdie there from Aiden. That's going to put quite a separation there between himself and Ryan. Yeah. Pick up the double there. Hope he had some, something dramatic to happen for him to uh, let that slip away. But Ryan still has to worry about Nick now. Very true. Still working his way up the leaderboard. All right, thank you again to the NADGT.
for having us out here at Kudzu Cove. Hole 17, it is a par three, 325. It is uphill. And I'm going to assume that again, the right side is marked as OB. Correct. Tricky green as well, the slopes down towards one of these uh, storage sheds on the left all the way. And again, the wind is a factor on this one. Ooh, oh boy. Ooh, no. Finish. No. No. Finish. No. Did not finish. That is no. out of bounds. Yeah. Man, these two are just, <laughs> they are trading punches <laughs> as they come down the stretch here. Why do they keep opening doors for each other? They just... Yeah. They're too polite. That's the problem. That's, the, that's it. That's what it is. Too disc golf polite. And that that's going to be. Settle. Whoa. All right. He, he held on. He's, he's down there, but he, he held on. Yeah, this wind is is uh, really causing. What? Kiefer going through the gap in those two little branches. What? <laughs> it's insane. And he stays in bounds. <laughs> he actually got the birdie, I think, the day before doing that. And they were like, "Hey, he's going to do that on hole 17. I'm like, there's no way. <laughs> and this is more your traditional shot that you would, that you would see. Yeah. Stick and grab. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't see any forehand approaches into that that green. Yeah, but last year I want to say like three out of the four went forehand. Yeah. Kind of with a long look for the bird. Got good height. Oh, oh man, no, 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 no! Come on, don't punish him. Man, Kiefer has just been getting the rollaways. Would Through you stop? The <laughs> Would you stop? <laughs> Just it's a slow roll. It's just a slow band aid pull. Just mm, come on. Uh, He's like whatever, man. It's just... uh, such a good sport. Yeah. Nick with a nice fluffy approach up there for the easy drop in par. Kiefer with another long look. Oh man, he that was, was a good run. Good. Yeah. No fear. He got one hole left. Might as well leave it all out there. Yeah. Oh, pull oh, that to the Ryan. right. Ryan, you wanted it. Put more pressure there heading into that last hole. But he'll still gain a stroke, but it could have been two. Yeah. And you want anything you can get going into the 18 because anything, anything can happen yeah. with the 18. You could, you could throw a soft forehand with a, with a <laughs> rubber blend zone <laughs> that you think isn't going to go anywhere near the water and <laughs> never see it again. <sighs> 18. You're so treacherous. 18 doesn't seem like a difficult hole to me in my head. I mean, because there's only one smart play. You get up there, though, and you're like, I can do this. <laughs> Especially with the new pin position. Here it is, new pin position. It's up top of the hill. Now you no longer have the jail of trees to, to go to through. Andrew, yeah. So now it's just like, hey, mm -mm. throw your spike hyzer at it. Let it settle. Do you see how small the green is? It is tiny. It is about the size of a po postage stamp. Yeah. I mean, the, and the, with and the, the lead you're laying up here. And the <laughs> and the water rises makes it, makes yeah. it even smaller. Yeah, there's a bug on my lens just chilling. <laughs> Nick wants, wants something to happen here because he is close to being able to secure that second spot there. Yeah. But he's playing smart. Yeah, I mean, that's what you want to happen. You want to play smart in that. Right by the bridge, what, he'll have a what? jump putt. He has, he's actually right next to the drop zone. <laughs> so there you can see how close he is. This looks familiar. That needs to settle. Oh, you mean he needs to go? Either, either, <laughs> either or. or. Yeah, just don't do uh, that. It was right in the middle. We also yeah. we started to get some raindrops too. Like it was getting windy. Yeah, on, fast on and... hole. Oh uh, no, he's running it. Oh wow. And this is not gonna make it. No. Well, you figure Ryan went OB. You're like, hey, I've got a couple strokes. I might as well. Oh, were they doing live scoring? Did they know what the chase card was? Yeah, doing? Okay. they knew where they were at. Yeah. Kai for going overhand. I don't know. What he, I don't know what he's. I still don't know what he's doing. Is he's he going, going for it. it? He's going for it. And he has missed to the right of the basket. So I have a couple of drop zone up shots here. Yeah, I think there was on hole 12. There were some storm clouds in the back that you saw that looked ominous. Yeah, it came out of nowhere, too. Like, it, the forecast kept changing. It was like, oh, it's going to be 40%. Then all of a sudden, it was like 100% chance. 
It was three hours away. Then it was two hours. Then one hour. Then it was like, it's going to happen right now. He played off the bridge. And that's the way to do it. Nick laying up. Yeah. He'll have a par putt from there. Everybody else will be putting for bogey. Oh, oh no. my goodness. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. And you can see the wind is really starting to just rip through right now. Almost knocked him over. So Nick was secure a tie for second with wow. that putt. Put together a great round. He did. And there is your 2021 NADGT Premier A tier champion here in Guntersville, Alabama, Mr. Aiden Scott. I hope you like the coverage by Ace Run Pro here at Kudzu Cove at our NADG Premier event. A big shout out to our sponsors nationally that make it all happen, and a special shout out to Mr. Larry Burge, who was my assistant TD, or you could have called him the main TD this weekend, he did all the work. Jeff Cohen, who helps keep this course in wonderful order, and Frank Harbin, the man. He owns this property, and he's the one that's put all this effort into having disc golf here in Gunterville. So thanks to the group, thanks to the local Alabamans, and thanks to all the volunteers, competitors, and spotters. Until next time, we'll see you at the next NADG premiere here in Gunnerville, Alabama. Big thank you to Diamond Dave Felberg for running the NADG team and just pushing this whole series to a whole nother level year over year. Yes, yes. And of course, a big shout out to all the 2021 sponsors, as Dave mentioned. None of this would be possible without the help and support of so many different companies coming together to make this possible. I want to thank you as always for checking out the action here on Ace Run Productions. Make sure to like and subscribe. Ring the bell. Absolutely. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're thinking about all the action. We love coming out to these events. Uh, NABGT is something that we sponsor, uh, partnered with for a long time, and we, uh, we love doing it. So thank you again as always to our patrons for all the support. Run it.